You made it, huh? Mm-hmm. So they opened three, they put in three new ones, and then they put they that plug put, thing. They didn't have to put it was already open. Okay, so one was open and they put three new ones in. Yeah. It's not bad. Not bad at all. What's up, everybody? It's your girl Kitty, and I'm back with another video. So, just a little quick update before I do my story time. Um, she went, my mom went in for open heart surgery today. They um, actually put in three new stents and unblocked one that was already blocked, and they put in an A A fib thing. I don't know what it's called, but they put that thing in there too. So, um, literally they took her in at 12.30 and she didn't get out until almost 5. So it took forever. And, um, I mean, she's, she's doing better with her heart, but the incision, like, started bleeding. And, um, so that's not doing too good. But yeah, she's in good hands, though. They're taking really good care of her up there, so hopefully everything should be okay. Um, if it goes... Oh, it's supposed to be going she'll be here saturday so yeah i'm hoping everything works out so i'm gonna start this new thing like story time so besides the updates i'm gonna be talking about something that happened to me or something that i've witnessed or something you know like something real um it's not always going to be about me. I'm going to actually look at some stories and stuff. And I'm going to read them to you. Um, I will be editing all of the um, the words and stuff too. So that way, if you can't hear me, um, you can keep up by reading it. That probably won't be until next week or so. So stay tuned for that. So let me get started. What's a good story? Story time, story time. Okay, so I'm trying to think of like good one okay so I'm gonna tell you about when my seven year old was born let me get in here get some light so one thing that y'all should know about me is I can never have a normal birth with any kids I can't have any more kids period now because I did get my tubes done after my last one so, with this being said, whenever I was getting ready to have my seven-year-old, the doctor came in and he was talking to me and he was like, oh, so I have to tell you that, um, you know, we're doing this, this medical trial with this new medicine and your doctor recommended putting you on it so we can see how you react to it so we can use it in the future. It's um, less invasive, I guess, but whatever. Um, yeah, so they gave me the medicine. And um, he's like, oh, so we're going to let you know the odds are like one in a million that you would have a seizure on the operating table. <coughs> Excuse me. So it turns out I was getting ready. They prepped me and everything. Um, my heartbeat was low, but it was stable. My blood pressure was actually kind of low. So they were trying to keep a close eye on that. But um, after I had got the medicine, I had told the doctor that... Um, I wasn't feeling right, like something was wrong, like, I don't know, for some reason, like, the front of my head, like, all right here, all the way, all the way around to the back of my head was hurting, like, really bad. So, they gave me some medication for, like, headaches, like, pain and stuff. So, after that, they put, like, a thermometer on my forehead, and I started, like, running a little fever, I guess, and, um, right before, right before he was getting ready to, um, pull him out of my stomach because I had a c-section um, right before he was pulling him out I actually started having a seizure on the operating table which was crazy because you never think that you're that one in a million percent until you're actually that one in a million like it's crazy so like they 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 got the baby out safely and um, they cleaned him up and everything he was fine but they had to give me a little blood because I did lose a lot of blood so they gave me a little blood transfusion and they got me stable. Um, they made my 
my homegirl, which is my best friend, they made her leave the um, the operating room because they said there was a complication. And she told my mom, and my mom started freaking out. Everybody started freaking out because nobody knew exactly what was going on. The nurses just told her that she had to leave because it was a complication. So she didn't know what it was, but she knew that the baby was fine. She just didn't know if I was okay because the complication was with me. So they let her leave or whatever. And I didn't come out of the operating room for at least... I want to say like 20 minutes after I had my, um, excuse me, I'm tired. Um, 20 minutes after I had already given birth to him. So, I mean, it was kind of weird. Like when I woke up, I didn't really remember anything. And they had me on like these little like sticker things that were in the back of my head. And, um, they were in my chest. I guess it was like to monitor some like wave actions or something. I don't know. But, um. Yeah, so that happened, and then I woke up finally, and the, like it took me longer to regain um, mobility. Should I say in my legs? Like um, it usually takes 30 minutes after your surgery, and then you can start like wiggling your toes and like lifting your feet and bending your legs and stuff like that. But it took me literally like an hour and a half, like almost two hours, before I could even move my toes around or wiggle my feet or anything. Like they were really worried because of the seizure that I had and I had like a, a reaction to the medicine so that was a rough rough time for me guys and um after that they got me stable and everything and <clears throat> I still don't remember exactly what happened but this is what you know I was told by the doctor and um yeah so that that's my story time on when I was getting ready to give birth to my seven year old um, everything worked out fine. He was healthy. He was beautiful. Nice and chunky monkey. Like, everything worked out perfect. So, that's, that's the end of that story. So, guys, hit that subscribe button. Turn your post notification bell on. Hit that like button. Comment down below for more content. I love you guys. That's all for me, y'all. Bye.